In tonight's Two News HealthCast, protecting men from a growing threat. Studies indicate more than 217,000 American men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer this year. Surviving cancer depends on finding it early. Two News anchor Karen Larson joins us live from the Drive Against Prostate Cancer bus. She's at Promenade Mall. Karen. Well, Russ, you know, for six years now, Two News and St. Francis Health Systems have been teaming up to bring free prostate exams to Green Country men. Hundreds have turned out, as you can see, they're still lined up, and many are repeat customers. Standing in line is no problem for Ron Jones. As an African-American man, he knows he's at higher risk for prostate cancer. My grandfather, two uncles, a brother have all had prostate cancer. A family history raises Ron's risk even higher. But all men over 40 need to be tested. 65-year-old Terry Evans drove all the way from Chelsea, hoping for reassuring news a second year. It's very good. No problem, okay? So I hope the same happens this year, of course. Can I help you, sir? Fill out a medical form, roll up your sleeve for a blood test to spot any warning signs of cancer. Step on in there. Then see the doctor for a physical exam. Tests that save lives. That's about the best we have right now, and, and uh, it's better than the alternative. Something showing up unexpectedly. For Terry, another clean bill of health. Good, great, good super. Night. Ron will wait for his blood test, but hopes other men won't. Early detection. Early detection, that's the key. It is the key. Now, if you live close by, you still have time to come on down. The bus, though, won't roll into town for another year. And we do want to thank the Downtown Lions Club for bringing in their bus and offering free health screenings, and also all the men who rolled up their sleeve to donate blood for the Oklahoma Blood Institute. Reporting live in Midtown, Karen Larson, 2 News, works for you.